guys welcome to the channel and today I decided to do another classic spec race uh, we're going to be in the 2008 McLaren for this one last time I did this we were in the 2004 Ferrari in Monaco night but yeah let's get straight into this so here we go then I think I might turn this into like a little mini series sort of thing since I'll do like you know different classic spec races in different tracks like maybe once a week or so aren't they but we're here we go for the Silverstone Classic one three and well at the moment we've just been mugged off the line like always but we're gonna come down the inside and try and get as many people as we can and we do get up to 12 so let's see how we go on this corner and looking but no we don't go for it because I'd rather not have a massive pole up thank you on the first lap um, so you know it is a five lap race since it was five laps in Monaco night and well this guy behind me is looking to make a move on me and well I'm under pressure now this is just gonna not turn out well if he's just gonna be this close to me all the time. The 2008 McLaren is actually a pretty nice car to drive I'll tell you what it's probably one of the most grip car in the whole of the classic cars like I'm not even joking it has a lot of grip and well just Magnus and Beckett's I struggle with but I struggle with Magnus and Beckett's with any car since well just not good at it you you will see in my career mode actually britain is you know silverstone is the next race in my career mode so that is one of the reasons why i'm racing this track and the other reason is because lewis actually won his first home run free with this car so that's why i'm actually racing with the 2008 mccann as well but this guy's looking so vulnerable to us as we do dive straight down the inside of him and make a move stick so chase him down around this corner and we literally have so much speed up here and we think right let's see if there's a gap and there is a gap he leaves a gap wide open for us we dive it straight down the inside of him and make a move stick perfectly i'm not gonna lie that was a pretty crap at cam angle so i'm gonna do it from this cam angle as well so we just dive it straight down the inside of him and make a move stick well, that will probably be the thumbnail since that's a pretty cool shot the fourth man is the fast man on the track at the moment but he isn't in the race um so we have more we know um in 10th here this is for a point so can we maybe get a point or maybe a few points in this race. It'd be great if we did, because you know that's my aim is to try and get points in every classic spec race I do in this like series. So you know, hopefully we do. Hopefully we do because that'll be great. But at the moment we're not in the points, so you know we we got a bit of work to do. But as I say that, I do get the fastest set out of anyone, and this guy is literally right behind me the whole way. He's not he's not giving up. He he wants this place more than well. I don't know, maybe more than what I do. I just want 10th at the moment. But yeah, he does want this place a lot since he's willing to go around the outside of me and try and make the move stick. And it maybe he's been shot me off and he's made the move stick. How? How have you done this, mate? How have you done this? Oh my god, this guy. I don't think I'm going to get him back, guys. Literally, I can't get him through Magas and Beckett's. I'm awful at Magas and Beckett's, but I'm going to try everything in my power to get him back. But just the straight line speed is not good for me. I don't know how we're all in the same car, but it's just not good for me whatsoever. But coming to this next corner, maybe can we get him on the corner that we got on before? And oh my god, how close were we there? Must have been really close, but I'm going to look to the inside again. Go straight down the inside of him again. Make a mistake again. <laughs> I've left the gap even for someone else to get as well. So this is going to be a tense race, tense race. And it's going to be a massive pole up if he doesn't get through already. And he does get through. He's even looking to get me as well. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh. Now this guy is on a move. Literally watch him. Just look at him. Go straight around the outside of the guy who managed to overtake me the lap before. And gets past him. Slips through me. Moves it to the inside. Makes me have to go out wide. And he overtakes me. That is mad. That is absolutely mad. But we're going to try and dive it down the inside of him again. And get past him once again. This is quite a good little battle we're having here. All four of us. Well, everyone actually, to be honest. As I do dive it down the inside of him again. And, well, try and get him. Well, I haven't yet. But I am slipstreaming him. And I do dive it straight down the inside of him. And make a move stick. Somehow, guys, I don't think we're going to be able to get points. Like, Maureen is actually pulling away from us pretty nicely. And we're, we're, we're under pressure from the guy behind us. He keeps getting us. But we do get him back. And, well, we, we really need to watch out. As he's looking to the inside again. But I, I think I just had the line there already. So I think he backed out of that one. And, well, I was quite lucky that he did. Because it would have turned out to be a pull up if, uh, well, if he didn't. And um, I was trying to, trying to just go as fast as I can pretty much. Trying to get away from him. 
but it's not looking like I am at the moment since, well, he's, he's pretty much keeping with me pretty nicely. And, uh, well, I'm just going to have to just fight all I have, I guess, uh, all the way to the line. Because I'm not going to be able to overtake anyone and, oh, somehow he probably does have a chance to overtake me, but I will be fighting everything to keep him behind me. Alright, so we're catching down Morino a little bit quicker now. It seems like we're catching him down a bit, but, well, on that corner we just, we just didn't. And around that sector we just lost him quite a bit there, actually, so that's actually not good whatsoever. And we're actually quite a little bit ahead of 12th place, so that's... That's a little better. This is this is more this is more what I'm looking at. This is more what I'm looking at. I think my career mode helmet goes really well with this car. Like literally, I think it just does. Um, you know, with the red and well, the blue doesn't really go, but it's 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 all right. I think it's still pretty decent with this car. I do have to say, my favourite British track is actually Brands Hatch. I I'm not really a fan of Silverstone. I I like Brands Hatch. That's why in F1 2013, which I uploaded back along. I did a 100% race in Brands Hatch because, well, it's a British one Prix and I am British, so, you know, I decided I'll do a British one Prix in Silverstone, I'm just not very good at, like, around that corner, that was awful, and, well, Brands Hatch, I'm actually pretty decent at, well, since I'm actually finished 8th, I think it was, so, that's pretty decent, so I wish I'd bring that track back, but they, they won't, they won't, not even with classic cars, I don't think they will. So, right then, coming around the final few corners, as Kaufman f wins the race and also sets a fast lap and well we got so close to Morino at the end but nah we have to sell for 11th, 11th well pretty disappointing race but I guess that's just life, I guess that's just life. Right then so that was a spec British Grand Prix in the 2008 McLaren so you know Kaufman managed to win the race, um, we finished 11th, same with our teammate for 12th, don't know that is since we're all in the same car. But I'm going to leave this video here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I will probably upload some more of this. Like I always say, it will probably become a little mini-series. But thank you for watching. And goodbye.